Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. We're looking at how to create paint streaked lettering in Affinity Designer on the iPad today. So this is the end result. This is what we'll end up with. If you want to follow along, there's a free texture you can grab below. So I'm going to go into this prepared document which has the base of what we're working with. So I've got this really cool black card texture as a background and I'm going to use this text as a guide. So you can either use your own hand lettering or you could use text. So I'm going to start by creating a new layer. You just press the plus sign here and go pixel layer. Then I'm going to start bringing in my paint textures. So I'm just going to choose that little icon in the corner that looks like a page and choose place image. Then I'm going to import from cloud and just locate where I saved it. So these textures are from my pencils and paint pack which just came out for Affinity Designer and it has over 60 warm and cool tone paint textures in it. So when you place the texture in Affinity, you just want to drag to place it. So it'll tell you when it's ready and then you just drag on the screen and you'll pull the image into the document. So we'll do a few more just to fill the text area. And I'm trying to choose tones that have a bit of variety in them. So this you can see has a purple streak and this one has a bit of white in it. So these paint textures are really high res and they have a lot of detail in them. So go back to the page and then choose place icon again, import from cloud, and you would just locate where you downloaded your textures. This allows you to get into either Dropbox or iCloud from here. Then just when it tells you, you can drag on the screen to reveal your texture and you just use this little white node to rotate it. So there's a little white dot. So one more should do it and I've got a really nice peach tone I wanna to bring in. So we'll drag that to place it, rotate using that white node and then position it so that all the text is now covered. So if you were following along with your one texture, you could just duplicate that a few times and then come into your layers panel and we wanna select all those layers. So just to do that, you just select the first one and then just swipe to the right and select the others. And then I'm gonna choose this third icon in from the left, which is group. So now I have all my textures in one group. I'm just gonna turn off the visibility so I can see the text again. You just tap on the little tick box to the right of the thumbnail. Now I'm gonna come back to my text. Just make sure you've rasterized your text. So this I already have with this one, but to do that, you just need to tap on the stacked page icon, the second one from the left, and then there's rasterize right there. Now we needed to rasterize so that we can select it. In order to select it, I need to be in my pixel persona. So I'm currently in the vector persona. So Affinity has two workspaces, one for vector and one for pixels. So I wanna move into my pixel persona and then I'm going to choose this flood selection tool. It just looks like a little magic wand and it's about three up from the bottom of the tools on the left. Now I'm gonna select the text and you can see it's now selected everything except this little dot on the eye. And that's okay to select that. I just need to change this setting on this tool to add rather than new. And you do that just down the bottom. And then I'm going to tap on the dot in the eye. Now I have the text completely selected. I'm gonna go back to my paint group and make sure that the top level of the group is selected. And then just by tapping on the little plus here, I can choose mask layer. And that will use that selection to hide what's not selected. So now we have our paint streaked lettering. So that's excellent. We can just tap the little X in the corner to deselect and you could leave it at that, but I'm just gonna show you a few little ways that I like to enhance it. So now I'm gonna come in and change my color to white and I'm going to make sure I've got a new layer on top of the group selected. As I mentioned, these are from my pencil and paint pack and included in that pack is some brushes that go really well with these textures. So I'm gonna choose one called Paint Filler and I'm just gonna come in and just add a few movement lines. So these lines are just in white. They just add a really nice cohesive pattern to the lettering. So it looks connected and there's that consistent sort of element running through so the middle of the text. So that's a nice addition. And then before I leave my brush, I'm gonna add another layer. So another pixel layer. And included in this pack, there's swatches of 20 different colors, both warm and cool. So they're taken directly from the paint scans. So I'm gonna choose like this really vibrant pink here, and I'm gonna come back in. I've got my paint filler layer, paint filler brush selected. I'm going to come back in and create a new layer. 
so the plus sign and pixel layer. And I'm just gonna zoom in. You can see you can use the same, if you're familiar with Procreate, the same pinch and zoom uh, is, is in Affinity. So that's really cool. And you just want to add an outline to the text. As it was text, it was really clean and crisp. And actually I'd like that bit of texture to come back. So by using the paint filler brush, it has a nice texture to it. And also having that color go around the outside ties it all in nicely. Cool, so that looks really nice and cohesive now that we've got that stroke around it. Another thing I wanna do as well is just create a new layer. I'm gonna keep using the same color. And now I just wanna add a little suggestion of where the shadow would go. So this is something you might see in lettering designs and it just adds like a really cool focal point for the text. Okay, so we're almost there now. That's looking really cool. Now, a final little touch we can do. I'm gonna take the pink back a bit into a sort of softer tone. Inside this pack, there's also some paint splatters. So I'm gonna choose texture number five, which is quite subtle. I'm gonna create a new layer on top of everything just by tapping the plus and choosing pixel layer. And now I'm just going to add a few of these splats around so that it looks as if the paint has spilt onto the canvas. So that's just a nice touch as well. Cool, and it's as easy as that. So we've got some really, really vibrant looking paint streaked lettering in Affinity, and it was that simple. So I hope you got something from today's tutorial. Don't forget to download your free texture below and have a go yourself. I'd love to hear how you got on. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.